Right, so another important principle is structure. Structure exists in the entire body. Um, we can think of building a house and the structures in place, or building a bridge. And structures keep a load for a long period of time. Um, bridges and buildings, they don't have muscles. Muscles tire out, structures hold strong. Yeah, so, as I said, structures exist throughout the entire body. I'm just going to start with that Wing Chun hand. So, open hand, fingers rake, hand bends. This creates a flexion in the back which makes us strong. Right? So we have this alignment. Alignment is great in the body, maintains structure. If I'm this way, joint, joint, it's aligned. So now I'm just going to go right into this fist structure. So this alignment, I just bend my fingers and I have a nice aligned fist. So what we're looking for in this structured fist is that I can remove my fingers and this still exists. It's like I have, we've cut my fingers off and I basically have a knuckle claw that I just stab into people. All right, so you can punch with an open hand, but we always clench our, bring our fingers in to protect them from being, from being overbent. All right, so it helps protect them. Uh, there's another alignment here. There's the ring finger knuckle aligned with the ulna. All right, the, the bones they cross inside. The wrists, they appreciate compression. They do not appreciate flexion. So we want to avoid this. So when we strike forward, vertical fist. If I do a hook, it's that vertical fist. It's that same alignment. Alignment still exists. Now we're going to move the structures down into the arm. And it's a basic arm position. So when I'm just standing, my arm has this natural bend in it. If I'm hanging from a chin-up bar and I'm just holding, that arm position exists again. We can even see it in an arm wrestling. You ever get to the point where you're down here and for some reason you can just hold on even though they took you from here to here? It's because again that arm position exists. All right. So this same arm position we bring it up for all of our strikes. Palm, punch, even when I go to do the edge of hand that arm still exists. It's that structure. It can take a lot of lot coming this way. The difference between having my arm bent and my arm straight is that the power now goes into my shoulder which takes me off balance. If my elbow's bent, the power goes down into the body, into the ground. So the structure exists through the entire body. So the arms are actually the exact same as the legs. So in our stance, our legs are always bent which is a nice, nice bend, which is actually very strong as well. We can use it in our kicks. Whatever kicks we do, that structure will exist within the legs as well. Now our posture, we want to be up and strong so that our spine is in its proper position, which helps with stacking, helps with balance, all that stuff. So the entire body is made of structures, and if you use them Ideally, you don't need to use your muscles as much to deliver power. The muscles are added to the structure, which makes things even more powerful. So there's difference between just using muscle, just using structure, and using structure and muscle. So always try to put yourself in a structured position to really deliver this power, because then it's easier on the body.